So this will be a fun video. I'm going to explain how to learn songs by ear on guitar in three simple steps. My name is Simon and I'm a guitarist, music producer and graphic designer from Norway. I'm here to share everything I learned so far in my journey and document what I learned in real time. Alright, so step one is to find the key of the song. A simple way to do this is to first find the note that feels like home. So listen to this track when I try to find the most stable notes. There are multiple notes that kind of feel like home, but this is the note that feels the most like home. The F sharp. You can play it different places on the neck, of course. So that means the track is in the key of F sharp, but we still need to figure out if it's F sharp major or F sharp minor. And a simple way to test that is simply to play both chords, so F sharp major and F sharp minor, over the track. As you hopefully heard, the F sharp minor sounded really off, so this song is in the key of F sharp major. So now I figure out the key of the song. Let's move on to step number two, the chords. And the first thing I'm going to do is to find the bass notes. And since I know the key is F sharp major, there's also a good chance I only need to use notes from the F sharp major scale. Some songs are a bit trickier, of course, but luckily this one is just in the F sharp major scale. So now I just need to listen to the track and mess around with the F sharp major scale until I figure out the bass notes. So these are the bass notes. Next, we need to find the chords that belong to the bass notes. And luckily, in the major scale, we have something called the number system, which means that each note of the scale has a chord that belongs to that note. So, by using the number system, I already know the chords of the song. The only exception in this song is the last note, the last bass note. Because the chord that belongs to the scale sounds like this. But that's not what I'm playing in the song. So the last chord is actually an inversion. So the bass note is playing the third instead of the root note. So it's going to sound like this. So it's a C sharp major, but with a third in the bass. Inversions and more fancy chords can be a bit tricky to figure out, so that might be something for another video. Anyway, now we have our chords. By the way, everything in this video will make much more sense if you really understand the major scale. It's not just playing the major scale, but really understanding the major scale. I have a detailed course on that on my website, playwithaplan.com. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check that out. Next, let's move on to the melody. And since we are in F sharp major, and I know that this song is only using notes within the scale, 
we can find the melody within the F sharp major scale. So let's use this shape, shape five of the major scale. All right, so first step is to just figure out the first note or the first two notes or three notes of the melody. So let's listen to the track. Now we can just mess around with shape five. Until you find the notes you're looking for. And don't worry too much about details like hammer ons and slides. At this point, the main goal is to just figure out the main part of the melody. Let's listen to more of the melody and pay attention to if the notes are far apart or quite close to each other. So I can hear that the notes in a melody are quite close to each other, which is useful information. So now I'm just going to go section by section. Let's conclude this three-step approach. Step one is to find the key of the song. Start with finding the note that feels like home. Check if you can play a major or minor chord from that note. If major sounds good and minor sounds bad, that means the song is in major. Next, you can find the chords and it's useful to start with the bass notes. Then you can add in the chords that belong to the bass notes. Step three is the melody. Start with finding the first notes in a melody within the key. So it's important that you know your scale shapes. Listen to if the notes are far away from each other or close. Usually they are quite close. Take it section by section. This will feel slow in the beginning, but with some practice, you can do this quite quickly. I need to refill this one, but if you want to test this out for yourself, you can go to the next video on the screen, which is the track from this video.